What is good, Ignition? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock and what on earth is going on with AMC share prices. We're seeing this thing taking a massive hit. I'm also going to be breaking down what's going on with the Ortex data, the dark pool data, and all that good stuff to help you understand why it's very possible that the shorts are about to drop AMC hard so they could get ready to start covering very soon. You might think that's crazy. You might think it's complete BS. But if you hear me out and see exactly why that's very possible, it will make perfect sense. Now, before I get started though, before I break down any more things, I do have to mention a couple of things real quick. The first thing is I'm not a financial planner, so please don't take this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, but the entire IP community as a whole. And the last thing is if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link down below in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account. <laughs> You're guaranteed five free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And you could always sell these five free stocks for cash and use that cash to buy some AMC shares for free or transfer the money to Fidelity or TD Ameritrade or some other brokerage to get your free AMC shares. Now, this is a limited time offer. It ends in two weeks. Check it out to buy AMC at these low prices. At the time I'm recording this, it's just over 10 bucks a share. And as you can see, AMC did get, that, get that, a bit of a bounce towards the very end, but at the end of the day, it was pretty much just downside, 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 down 12.42% for the day, taking a massive hit. So let's actually look at some data first before I break down what's happening with the share price. Well, the first thing to look at is what's Ortex showing us. Now, I do know that Ortex isn't always extremely, extremely accurate, but there is some interesting pieces of data that make me quite interested in what this thing could end up doing. Look at the short interest up 2.54%. It's 2.54% higher than the last time they reported this. Right now, it's at 21%. 21% of AMC shares are being shorted as of right now. Could be much, much, much higher than that. But as of right now, we could easily tell that this thing has that amazing squeeze potential. Now, when it comes to the squeeze potential, though, I have to talk about something else that's important. That's the fact that we're seeing way more shares borrowed on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, if you actually go down here, you could see so many of these shares are being borrowed. And what they're doing with these shares, right, and obviously the short interest does not count uh, synthetics, but if you look at how many shares they're borrowing right here, you can see 8 million additional borrowed shares just today alone, and it's climbing, so they're borrowing tons and tons of shares to short AMC like crazy, okay? And what's happening is the majority of apes, they're not selling, they're not quitting, we keep on buying these dips. So as of right now, in total, 148 million shares are on loan. That's insane. Not normal for a stock. And what's insane about that is the fact that we're seeing so many shares also being shorted. So with that said, high short interest, lots of shares being lent out. And then right here, we're seeing there's a bit of a spike in volume, but we're dropping on a higher volume, which is not necessarily a good sign. And just goes to show there could be a little bit more room for us to drop. And looking here, we can see 49.67% of trades happen on off, <coughs> excuse me, off lit exchanges, showing the manipulation of this play. Same old data, same old dirty games they're playing, except they're pushing AMC down harder than before. So one of the things we're noticing here from a technical perspective, I actually closed the RSI and uh, the MACD. Uh, you could see AMC has just been dropping and dropping really, really hard. But what happened was we actually got a nice bounce from before, right? We ran, we ran up to the $34 level. And then since then, it's just been red, red, red. And you could see we were starting to see this, like, what is this, a curl? But then instead of continuing, ever since we saw that big, uh, at the FOMC meeting, Obviously, the market has been taking a hit and AMC has been taking a hit with it, but AMC has been dropping even harder. It's pretty insane. I mean, if you look at the SPY, it's pretty much down from before. It's at the 393 level, actually below the 393 level. AMC is down. It touched $9.92. So we are in single digits right now. Now, another thing to be looking at is based off this, we're able to see we've just been getting hammered over and over again. Remember, we, we ran up to like $14 on the day of earnings. Then we gapped down, and since then, it's just been a rodeo. We've been going down and down. Now, in my previous videos, I warned you guys that it's very possible for AMC to drop around that $8 range. 8 to 10 is what I said. Maybe a little lower. Who knows? But my point is, is this the end of the world? Is the play over? And the answer is no. We've been talking about this for many months on this channel, okay? I never told you. AMC would just instantly squeeze and just continue to rally up in one motion. I told you that if the market crashed, 
And we're seeing the spy. Look at the spy. The spy's taking this big hit. If the spy were to drop this way and actually drop below its key level of support at that 393 level, if the spy drops like this, AMC is going to drop with the market. The spy obviously isn't the only measure of the market, but you get, you understand my point. AMC would drop with the entire market initially. Then as time goes on, the shorts are going to desperately try to shake people off by getting people liquidated. They're going to try to get people to sell, right? That's their plan. And maybe they had a little bit of success, a tiny bit of success. But one thing is for sure, as they dip this thing to the nines, the eights maybe, the tens, people are going to be buying in crazy numbers. There's going to be so much buying pressure. At the very end, we got this nice spike, a tiny little spike right here. As soon as we touched 992, you could see we ran from 992 to 9, uh, 10.37. So we're going <coughs> to start buying and buying and buying these dips. So from the way I'm seeing it, from a technical perspective, the bottom hasn't been found just yet. It does look like it's very possible for us to continue on the downside. We are a little bit up in the after hours. So maybe we have been oversold in this RSI for so uh, long that it's bound to see a slight reversal. Maybe that's the case. I don't necessarily see it that way. I still think we haven't seen the bottom yet, and it is possible for us to get to that. I think that nine to eight dollar level maybe our bottom is going to be around there and then once we get that bounce I, it doesn't matter if the market's bouncing back or not if the shorts decide to start covering this thing is going to fly to the absolute moon now a lot of people think it might it may be an instant thing it may happen tomorrow i don't see it that way i think we could trade sideways like this for a few more weeks it's very possible. Maybe we'll bounce up, see a big run, then drop, trade sideways for a little bit of time before this thing starts to really, really rally. So right now, it's the same old games, but this is a blessing. It's an opportunity to actually lower your average and buy a lot more of these AMC shares for much cheaper prices. With that said, I want to change the dynamic in a way because a lot of apes are very emotional. Right? If you're investing in the market, you have to put those emotions aside and you have to look at the play for what it is. It's a squeeze play, right? Some people could say it's a fundamental play. Sure, you could you could argue it's a fundamental play too, at least to some degree, because AMC as a company is worth a lot more than nine bucks. It's gonna be worth around 25 fundamentally, in my opinion. So you're getting it at more than half off what it's fundamentally worth. So that's one way of looking at it. On top of that, the majority of the people want the squeeze. The squeeze is on the table. Here's the simple way to actually, you know, repute that claim that AMC is over. Here's what I'd say. Have the shorts cover. Have they, sh have they covered all their shares? Are they done? The answer is no. So the play is still alive. The shorts have to cover and they will be doing that relatively soon. In my opinion, it may take a few weeks. It may take a month or two from now. But I see it coming. So you have to stay strong. Very good buying opportunity. So get ready. And with that said, I want to thank you all for listening. Thank you. Get ready for the big day tomorrow. As it's Thursday, I do see more downside as a possibility. And I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon and peace out.